Welcome back to Faga Farm. We will introduce to you today our two special guests. It will be a love story, a story that they will tell their grand grandchildren. They will meet today here, and it will be a love at first sight. <coughs> so. Cynthia is here with me. I'm so happy to introduce her. Hello, Cynthia. Hi. So, can you tell us about a bit about yourself? Hello, everyone. I am Cynthia. I am 35 years old. Um, I'm so happy to be here. I like cooking. I like horses. I like um, to travel everywhere. And I really hope with that I can find a really nice man for me here. Well, believe me, we found the, the perfect man for you, Cynthia. And let's go check out. I'm so happy to introduce to you our second contestant, Kevin. Welcome, Kevin. Hi. Hi. So, can you tell us a bit about yourself? I like turtles. Oh, you like turtles, so he loves animals. Great. Tell us a bit more. My face good. Uh, great. Uh, great, Kevin. And now is the moment that everyone is waiting. Cynthia, Kevin, turn around. What do you think about Kevin? Well, I have to say that Kevin is not the smartest person that I ever know. <laughs> She's sexy. So, Cynthia, do, do you like sex? Oh, I found him here. Right out of the box, Fog of Love is unlike any board game I've ever played, ever. It is more of a storytelling engine than really a board game. With Fog of Love, that comes in a really lovely box, not lovely lovely, just lovely, um, which was a Kickstarter project that uh, amassed pretty much a big amount of money and it really shows the production is great and but we'll talk about that later so as I said the game is more of a storytelling engine with fog of love you will create two people two um, gender unrelated so you can choose whether or not you will play a man or a woman in a relationship they will fall in love and they will have problems and maybe make it work or not, depending on how you will play the game. It is played within, let's say, 90 to 90 minutes to two hours, more or less. And it will allow you to basically have a romantic comedy with everything that comes with it. It's two player only. You can't play it with any more players. It is, in my opinion, the perfect game to play with your partner. It is very, very important to understand that this game does not represent who you are. You will play a character, but it will be somebody very different from yourself. It is very important to know that because apparently couples have split up because of this game. I say apparently because I can't really believe it. I mean. It's just role-playing. You are playing somebody entirely different. You can be mean in the game, but be a very loving person otherwise. At the beginning of the game, you will deal five trade cards to each player. These will represent your end goal of the game. It is how your character really thinks. You will have five and select three of them. Now, I might be impulsive, jealous, and shy at the same time. And at the end of the game, you will have to try to fulfill these goals. Those can change during the game in very, very specific um, situations. To understand how this really works, we have to explain a little bit how the personality dimensions 
work. Those represent things that will happen during the game to either of the characters. And you will put down those tokens on the different tracks. It can be up or down depending on whatever happens. So at the end of the game, you will, I, if I'm jealous, will have to try to have at least three tokens here in the sensitivity dimension. That can change very quickly and very rapidly. Generally, if I would now have one here, so three up, one down, those cancel each other out, so I will just have two at the end of the game. After having chosen the three traits for your character, those are entirely unknown to your partner. You will keep those here in these cool plastic trays just to remind yourself what you are and what you are trying to achieve. After having chosen the different traits, you will get three occupation cards which define what you are doing in your life. So basically your job. You could be a baker, you could be a headhunter, and you could be a butcher and tons of other things. In this case, neither of those three really impact what kind of person I am, so I will just take the baker. This is face up, so your partner will know what you are, or what kind of occupation you have. After this, you will take five feature cards, one, two, three, four, and five, which represent what you saw in your partner the first time you saw them. So this will influence your partner. For instance, I could say that uh, I really, really liked her soft skin. So I would then put this feature here in my partner's play area. Immediately after having revealed that, the partner has to put one of those tokens inside of a personality dimension that is represented by this symbol. So in this case, here. Now, if my partner had given me, for instance, uh, that I had sexy underwear, a symmetric face, and that I'm mumbling, those would then be represented as well as shows here, here, and here. Now, without my partner knowing, already, because I'm shy, this goes for my goal at the end of the game. After having created the characters, we will reveal the synopsis and the chapters. Synopsis will basically define what kind of story we will have. In this case, it's a Sunday morning date. It's a sweet short story about two people falling in love at a party and then afterwards going out on a date. We will do exactly what is shown here, together with what is written on the back of it. The synopsis itself also defines why and how the finale will work. So in this case, each achieved trait will give us plus three happiness. That symbol here defines the happiness. Because at the end of the game, it's not just about being in a relationship, but trying to achieve the most happiness with whatever you are trying to achieve. Now that we are done with the synopsis, we will reveal the actual chapter card. The chapter itself will define how this part of the game will work. In this case, we have to choose something out of those three options. By choosing one of those really satisfying weighted poker chips, we will put them face down on the circle here that shows choice and reveal it simultaneously to show what choice we chose. This would also define how we start the game, how happy we are as a person at the beginning of the game. After this has been done, this will also define what kind of scenes we will play in and what kind of interactions we will have with each other. In this case, this chapter will last for in total six cards, so everyone will have the possibility to play three scenes, actually, that we will draw from the sweet deck. There are three types of decks 
you have the sweet deck. Oh. 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 The serious deck. <sighs> hey, what are you doing? The dishes need to be cleaned. And the drama deck. Oh, Verena Consuela de la Cruz de la Sierra, why did you betray me with my brother? He's your cousin! Ronaldo Rodriguez, mi amor, who told you that? My father, who is in a coma, said that to me in a dream. Those scenes can range from something very simple as finding a triple rainbow and what your partner thinks of it, to I want to have a sex change, how do you react to that? The theme is very mature, you have a lot of different things that will, well, that can happen within a relationship, so this will really define your characters. Again, I'm, it's really important to understand it's not yourself that you are playing. It is a theoretical person defined by those traits that you chose at the begin beginning of the game. It's really about role-playing a different character, a different person than yourself. The scenes are those big cards that will be played throughout the game. One after the other, a player will choose one of the five cards that they have currently in their hand and they will always have five cards at any moment in time, and play them here in the play area. The scene cards have a very clear iconography that can really help a lot when you are playing. You have on the bottom left what type of scene this will be. So those are sweet and those are serious. You also have the basic text in the, in the beginning of the card, which you have to read out loud to set the mood for this specific scene. Then you have either partner chooses, both chooses, or you choose, depending on the card itself. And that means you will have to then put down one of the weighted poker chips to select your specific answer. The signs behind those, in this case here, will allow you to put down a token on the different personality dimension that represented this. So we will just really take this as an example. If now I choose, um, in this case, that a movie star would be my favorite, my, my dream dinner guest, I could put down one of my tokens to the top of the extroversion dimension. If my partner chose something different, like for instance a historical figure, then she would put, he or she would put um, a token on the curiosity dimension. Whenever there is the word tell, you can tell a story about it. You should actually tell a short story about it and try to make it a bit more interesting. That's the whole storytelling and role-playing part of the actual game. Coming back to the scene cards, there are a few more icons that we have to talk about. As explained, those are happiness. So when a, whatever happens and you have to always read the actual card to know what changes those. If you have minus two or plus two, you change your your happiness by this much. You also have on the bottom right those different icons. Those are secrets. Those are not revealed. You will just put them underneath the board wherever where there is shown secrets face down underneath. So your partner knows that you have some kind of secret that might or might not be good for you or for your partner. 
In this case, that would be just a surprise party. But it could just as well be an affair or anything else ranging from I actually don't have a job <laughs> or uh, I try to cheat on you. Stuff like that. that mean, anything is really possible. Then you have those icons that say this card will influence the next one. So you will just put that down and the next card will be changed depending on whatever there is on the card. In this case, um, the partner reveals a random destiny. To the, regarding the destinies, we will come back to those in a minute. And finally, you have those here. Those are reaction cards. The reaction cards can be used depending on the different uh, prerequisites that are defined by the card itself. In this case, but I do agree, you can change the choice that you just put down as soon as it is revealed. So you can change your mind at the last second to have a bit of a better outcome. So as explained during the game, you will just play scenes one, uh, one player after the other until the next chapter is revealed. Just one after the other, all the chapters will be played until the finale finale is revealed. And then what you do is you compare the score that you have achieved during the game with what you have right now as traits, as well as, and here come the destinies, what you actually wanted from your relationship. You could have wanted for both of them to be equal partners. In that case, you have to stay in the relationship and also match these prerequisites. If the partners have a bit of a difference in the happiness, you would lose. You would simply outright lose. It could just as well be, be an honorable exit. In this case, you have to break up, but still have different prerequisites that come with it. There are a lot of different destinies. In fact, there are a whole ton of different ones. So you never exactly know what your partner's goal is. It can just be that your partner actually really, really wants to stay in a relationship while you have been trying to sabotage it from the beginning. And really interesting situations can arise. Play around! Okay, so... Um, we have our basic setup done, and I am Consuelo, Verena Consuelo de la Cruz de la Sierra. And I am uh, Ron... no. Rodrigo... Uh, Ronaldo Rodriguez. Oh, Ronaldo Rodriguez. Ronaldo Rodriguez, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So I am a fashion model, so I am pretty much an extrovert. I am a firefighter. Okay, great. Okay. So now we will exchange the features that we liked most about our partner. So again, I will have four, you will have four, and uh, I five, have, sorry, uh, five. Choose. And we choose three, one after the other, with a small story attached to it. Okay, so look to his watch. You are a fashion model. Okay, perfect. So I will then put one of And of my course, tokens. you're sexy and under. One after the other. Uh, so I put my token here under curiosity down. Yeah, okay. So what I really saw first about you, and I kind of, yeah, exactly, and I, I, I kind of like that really because it's really manly. You have hairy armpits. Okay. I'm old school. I like my, my, my man Harry. My man Harry now. Yeah, I like my man. You're, you're my man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So put your token um, down to the sensitivity. Oh, sensitivity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So also because of your firefighter, you can also put that. And I will do that same as fashion model. So the same, I have two already. You already have two and sensitivity down. Down, okay. So second thing that I saw here, you were sexy and you are. Oh, so you cancel out my curiosity. Uh oh Okay. Well, you are a sexy model with a lot of curiosity to <laughs> men's pocket. I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, apparently. Yeah, another thing that uh, I really liked about you, because you're a firefighter, you have like a booming voice. Well, I really have. I really have it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, uh, here. So, so gentleness gentle. goes down because oh, you seem... Yeah, yeah, because I don't, sweet, don't sound sweet. And exactly. Sweet. So. And I love how Consuela looks and her symmetric face. Ooh. Ooh. So I'm really pretty, actually. You are really pretty. Well, you Why do you think you that think... Rodrigo, uh, like, you know, Ronaldo? So did you put your, the, the... Yeah, I put it into sincerity up. Okay. okay. And you're actually kind of a bit mysterious. I don't know exactly why, but you, you seem... I don't know, your poker face just simply uh, spoke to a lot of emotions, so... Exactly, so down, sensitivity down. down. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I'm so really not too sensitive. Okay, so I'm we manly. did the features. So yeah, you're really manly. I mean, why else would a fashion model date you? Or want to date you? <coughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, we will then begin with the chapter. You met through a friend yesterday. Okay, yesterday, not a few days. Today you're going on your first date. How do you suggest starting the day? Either A, the classic restaurant date, get a fabulous lunch and lots of sit-down time to really talk and get to know each other. We go B, sing karaoke, do a lot of silly serenades and electrify the room with your favorite song. It's a great way to avoid awkward silence. Or C, pretend to be a tourist, go sightseeing and share your impressions as you enjoy the attraction and each, other, each other's company. So now we have to choose one of our poker chips to go on a date. And if we choose the same thing, we will be happy. Be happier. But if we don't, well, we will have had yeah, two I different things. Yeah, I have two choices because I am the man here. Probably. So we will go to classic restaurant. Hey. Oh, really? I wanted to go sightseeing. Ooh, ooh. Well, okay, so not a problem. We will then put our first token onto our own happiness tracker, the person itself. So we begin with 10. Okay. And we will see how that will But we don't changing. lose, uh, in this case, uh, any uh, happiness points. In this case, not. We will just... So we will have only... Uh, only only positives. positives. Exactly. <coughs> so you will choose the first scene. I will choose so the first scene. After our first date, what happens? I'm really not lucky. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is that a party over there? So a lot of... Uh, I have to read the number. Yeah, of oh, course, yeah. you have to. <laughs> <coughs> a lot of people seem to be having fun over there and doesn't seem to mind random people joining in truly crash the party. Ooh. So. so now we both choose one of the possible outcomes. So A, yeah, let's party. B, hmm, might be fun. Let's ask the host first. <coughs> C, not really in the mood. I feel a bit down tonight. D, no way. We're not invited and I don't know these people. So if we match, we just received plus two, and if we don't match, we have minus one happening point. Yeah, but whatever we choose, we will still have the bonus associated to it. Yeah, probably. Exactly. And that's... this is a sweet scene. Exactly, so that's sweet. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Consuelo de mi corazón. Of course, Ronaldo. Okay, oh, so oh, definitely not. <laughs> okay. No way, we are not invited. But yeah, let's party. Mm -hmm. oh. So we first upgrade our tracks. So I have to. Uh, I have to put here yes, one uh, down. You're an introvert. And here, no. And the yeah. curiosity goes down. Oh, okay. Yes. Exactly. So now we will. Also update yeah, this track. One. Yeah, you both do as the player of the scene chose, but neither of you are really happy about it. So we both are not that happy. So now we nine. both have nine. Okay. So I'm done. Okay. So take a poker chip, and I will choose the next scene. Uh, yeah, you now take one card from the sweet deck because we are still in the okay. first chapter. Another one. Yeah. To have you five, always, again five. You okay. always have five cards in hand. Okay. Exactly. Funny thing. Ooh, your clothes make me look great. <laughs> yeah, I tried on your uniform. I mean, look at me. Your clothes look better on me than they do on you. So now, just the partner chooses. Okay, so just me. I have. You to... have to. Yeah, take your. Okay, my chip back. 
So, um, how do you react on the fact that I really look much, much better in the firefighter uniform than you do? So, A, this is great, but could you please stop using my clothes without asking me? Mm -hmm. B, now you, wow, you look incredible, like a hotter version of me. C, you think so. To me, it looks like you're pretending to be something you aren't. Stylish. Ooh, that would hurt. Okay. And then if I put, um, okay, depending on what I answer, mm -hmm. you will put the token down or I will put the, the different? No, you still, because you uh, put down the thing, you will take that. Mm -hmm. But uh, there can also be repercussions depending on what you choose for me. Okay. Like for you, you will swap in the dominant uh, destiny. Mm -hmm. But we started with that, so you will not swap anything in. Okay, I'm there. I'm ready. Okay. Well, I'll do. Let's check. Oh, my love, Consuelo. You look so incredible. Ooh, Ooh like, like a hotter version of me. That is sexy. So I get one. Two, three. But only you get points. Exactly. So now because I got... I'm happy too to see you with... Of course, but that's for <laughs> my self-esteem. So now because of that, because I got more than 10, I will put one here on 10 plus yep. a second one to define how much I have. So I have 12. Okay. Ooh, that's nice. Thank you. Hmm. Okay, so that is done. So first chapter is done so now chapter two what happens on and chapter we two? go to so this is going thing. yeah so this is going really well you seem to have a great connection but how great is it really so now both choose the other one doesn't know it yet but we're destined to be together i'm so in love it hurts so now we would both no, the chooser discards a destiny. So yeah, because we both choose, we both have to do it. Mm -hmm. May not discard unconditional love. So that's the only one you may not discard. B, B, you really have a good connection. This could be the start of something beautiful. Chooser discards a destiny, may not discard love team. C, I guess this could be something down the line, but I think we're off to a slightly rocky start. Chooser discards a destiny, may not discard dominant. And if we match, we get plus Eight mm -hmm. in happiness. Ooh, that is awesome. I will also replenish. And from our destiny. And I have to discard one, I can choose one. Yeah, that's exactly. Uh, you have to discard one, but not the one that is defined by okay, yeah. your choice. Oh, the, the discard of destinies come here. That's your personal discard. So the other de destinies stay. I know that will not match. Ah, yeah. Okay, so nothing happens. Nothing so. happens. Still, we don't. We don't. We're not a lot happy. Well, I am. I am. Hmm. Because, yeah, I, I chose that we're destined to be together. Oh, yeah. And I thought, well, sure, why not? But, yeah. So. This really is a telenovela. <laughs> <laughs> a shirt fence wedding. Mm-hmm. I always get, emotion, um, get emotional at weddings, especially when all our friends are here. So, so we both swap in unconditional love, if we didn't yet. Yeah, and next in play it has double impact. Um, all happiness. Yeah. So both we, good as well as bad. Yeah, so okay. we really have to play good next. Yeah, and those don't really count to the maximum of cards. Okay. So basically you just... So I will take one of You will now take one of the serious cards, exactly. Ronaldo, my love. I try to be something so somewhat creative. I made a piece of modern art for you. So now I have to make a drawing with eyes closed and you have to guess what it what I meant by Aww. it. So. <laughs> okay. So that, that's, that's my piece of modern art. Sorry, Consuelo's piece of modern art. So now you have to know what I meant by it. So A, you make me complete. B, I'm going crazy in a good way. C, you might be flawed, but you're perfect for me. D, love requires work. I love working with you. Okay, so let's check. Ooh. Nice. 
So we you can read my mind. I can read your mind, Coswello. Uh, the plus like that, right? Yeah. Okay. And it? then we get three points. Okay, so cool. So I have ten. And, so. and we both draw a serious scene. So now here and nine plus three twelve. So yeah, I am at fifteen. Oh no, 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 no. Because of the card before, yeah, we, we get, get double. double. Oh, oh, so we are really happy now. No, it's getting serious. Because I made that piece of modern art at a friend's wedding. Cool. Ooh. The one who introduced us. That's mm -hmm. awesome. I have a question. How much is it okay to spend without asking? Ooh, now you're showing your real face. Yeah, because I'm a fashion model, you know. <laughs> so we both choose. You don't have to ask. Mm, I feel that we need to agree on this. Mm. Uh, so, you don't have to ask. Once a month, it's okay to buy a pair of jeans or dinner out without asking. See anything below a month's salary is okay. <laughs> okay. If you earned more, it would be okay for you to spend a bit, but not now. Okay? Ready? Go. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that going. makes sense. Yeah, you don't have to ask. That yeah, but I'm allowing you. It's not too bad. Hey, come on, I'm a fashion model. I earn more than you. Bitch. Then do whatever you want. <laughs> Money. <laughs> okay, so my turn in me. Turn it, turn me. So, now we're done. Yeah. Okay. Um, we also already chose our final destiny because at the end we have to select one of the remaining destinies that we still had and we both chose honorable exit. <laughs> yeah, that sense. was funny. Yeah, so uh, we both break up. We agree on breaking up. You weren't too awesome. Because we weren't meant for each other. I mean, that's that was kind of clear. Yeah. So yeah. Um, now we have to check still if we are okay after breaking or up. Or happy or miserable. Exactly. So in this case, we will fulfill our destiny if we have 15 or more happiness. I don't have... I have just 9. I have 13, but... Not enough. Yeah, the, but we will see, because the traits might still influence Changing. our happiness. Yeah. So, we will check first with you. Narrow-minded. So, the trait goals can either be individual or shared. So, either you have a lot in one direction, with both being counted, or you have just your own to check. And that looks bad for everything. <laughs> So yeah, for you it is the five curiosity, or five or more shared together. So there are five, but uh, then there are three. So let's make it two. So two, yep. exactly. So, no, gone. Um, that means minus one, because oh, yeah. we have that in the, the our, final, yeah. Yeah, on our final scoring. So, withdrawn. Here, minus plus more. So... Gone two. Mm. Minus one. Oh, seven now. Oh. And disorganized. Three. Here. That's so that's too bad. Two more and you would have done it. Yeah, I was trying to. Yeah, but Consuelo wasn't uh... Yeah. She's a bit well, she's not even disciplined, but she, yeah. she she's not disorganized. Yeah. So eh. Well, minus one. Three, so six. Six. So you will not even be happy with breaking up, although even it was with a staying in a relationship. Yeah, well, yeah. we will both lose anyways, because for me it's also not great. Um, three down in curiosity. I have three two down plus. plus two, so I have minus one. Not enough. Minus ah, okay, one. because it's an indi individual. <clears throat> it's an individual goal, okay. exactly. Um, then intense, uh, here extroversion has to be plus three individually, and here I have plus four. Ooh. Ooh, so I get, uh, what was it, three more, right? Yeah, plus three, one, two, three, I have 15, bam! But the last one, kind, so I should have in gentleness plus five in shared. And you have three. And I have in total three. Yeah, exactly. So minus one. Minus one. I have fourteen, and I am just as unhappy. Yeah. You well, are just miserable. Um, we are both miserable because we both think that this was a waste of time. Consuelo, I hope you will find the right one. 
Me too, Her uh, Ronaldo. I wish you luck in your future relationships. At least the sex was okay. Yeah. <laughs> This game might be a two-player only game, but this is just as fun to watch as to play. If you have someone watching this, we had a few cases where that actually happened, and your friend will just look at it and think, how can you still be together with that jerk? He's clearly manipulating you and you have like the martyr. This specifically, as a destiny, so you actually want to be miserable so you can complain afterwards about your tragic relationship that you had. So this will unfold a lot of different stories that you can afterwards really remember and tell other friends. It's really fun. It's a really cool game in general. Um, but again, disclaimer, some people can't really get to the idea that this will not be yourself playing, but another character. You really have to think of it like watching a movie, watching a really bad romance movie, where you can just make fun about it. And that's really, really impressive. This game is phenomenal. You have really to try it once yourself. If you're not very comfortable with playing it with your partner, you can just as well just play with any friend and just check out how fun situations arise from it. It's awesome. If you liked our video, please like it and subscribe to our channels so we have more excuses to dress up like idiots and try to be funny. And I hope we actually are. But I don't care, even if you don't think that we're funny. We like to dress up.